Hi guys, this is Leslie and JAS from Leslie Loves Veggies. Did you just tell me you had boobage problems? Um, boobage, yes. Are you chewing gum? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could you please swallow it? We'll mm -hmm. get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Really? You want to put on your nose? Today is Tuesday. I'm going to have ch ch Tuesday. And Jessica's throwing her gum in the garbage pail because I've seen bloggers and vloggers and they go, I just put it in. I don't give a fat rat's tooth. I don't care. Anyway, we have some funny things to tell you today. Your attitude. I don't, I don't like your attitude. I don't really care. So let's get right into let's it. Let's get right into it. So, you know, this week was my birthday and we had gone to the mall and we were looking at stuff and Jessica, and we've got car issue thingies. So I happened to mention to Jessica's husband, hey, do you have a trunk monkey? He said, no. Oh. And I, I, I don't think he heard me. So I said again, later on in the day, do you have a trunk monkey I can borrow? And I, I don't know if you know what a trunk monkey is. I will leave a link down below if I can find one to a trunk monkey video. There are a couple of different trunk monkey, trunk monkeys and by Suburban Auto Group. They, the videos are hilarious. There's a trunk monkey chaperone where there's a monkey in the back seat and he bashes the boyfriend over the head because he's on a date at a drive-in movie <laughs> with the girl. So I get a lot of guy. I figured he just didn't hear me. So I'll let you take the story where, where I leave off. So I called him yesterday. The husband. The husband. And I, I asked him to find out from one of the guys at work if his shop, the shop foreman, if BMW had a trunk monkey because specifically I wanted the chaperone trunk monkey and so um, he's going to be asking his boss if he can get me a trunk monkey. So I, when he finds out, he's going to be <laughs> he oh he's going to be so mad. The thing is, these tr this, these trunk monkey videos are so hilariously funny. I mean, I th the fact that he didn't know what it was. Okay, and it gets better. So, you know, I had a lot of freebie coupons and stuff, and I was at the mall, and I was looking around, and I said to Jess, hey, Jess, why don't we get the baby? <laughs> why, don't we get, why don't we try to find baby, baby Maddie, <laughs> this is bad, a vajazzle. Now, a couple until, <laughs> up until a few years ago, I didn't know what a vajazzle was. I mean, and then I found out because, because they were pitching bloggers to do reviews for a vajazzle. First of all, how do you do a vajazzle video? I mean, how do you do a blog? I mean... It's basically a decoration. You put the little gems with glue um, on your hoo hoo. <laughs> what? <laughs> the hoo hoo. The hoo hoo. And I but mean, and I told, when I told my husband about it years ago, he's like, "Yeah." I said, "Yeah, no, no." I mean, if I'm going to wear a jewel anywhere, it's going to be on my neck or my ears. I'm not going to wear it, you know, in my no no square. So, well, you have to be clean shaven. What are you insinuating? It doesn't even matter. My personal grooming habits I'm are none, so, I'm of, saying like, are none of your. No, I'm what just. What was saying, I going to say? Mind your business. business. No, seriously, you need to have a clean shaven bald eagle. You know what I mean? So. Please don't cross the line on my on my video. I didn't. Anyway, if you really you will get you were getting to the line. You can't have buckwheat. So what does that mean? The buckwheat. Please. Landing strips. So um. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so she, so as soon as I said that, she decides. Oh wait, the, first of all, the lights went. She went. Ding. And then she picks up her phone. She goes, "Go ahead, pretend like." Well, I texted him. She texted him. She says, "I want to text him to make sure he knows what I'm saying." Yeah, like he can't. He cannot, not know what I'm I'm talking about. So this is this is what I said. Is there enough money I'll in be, the I'll be for me to get Maddie of a jazzle from Sephora? <laughs> Seriously, like that is what I texted him. And what does he say? Um, he calls me right back. You remember he called he me? He called back and I'm like, you, he says, well, how much are well, they? No, he called back and I said, you've been snagged. No, I knew I hadn't. He said, well, how much are they? I said, well, Maddie needs a good bejazzling. They're about $12. And he says, okay, I'll, I'll put enough money in the account so you can get her one. Whereupon you say, what color should I get her? Pink, Pink or, red. or red. He's like, how the hell? He, no, his exact words were, how the hell do I know? Um, I was like, okay, well, I'll ask Maddie. So then, a couple hours later, he calls up. He said, "Did you get the vajazzle?" And you said, "No, they didn't have. No, they didn't, didn't have it in her size." size. <laughs> Shame on you! I can't tell you. <laughs> He's not gonna ever believe me <laughs> because he won't believe you. Because when Maddie was, 
how old was she? Two months old? Yeah, she was about two months. Whenever she went to get her first shots, and she had, no, it wasn't. I forgot which visit it was, <laughs> but she had to get. Well, I mean, a ton of shots, and she. So Michael called me. He is very, very caring, and he said, "How did she do?" Jessica said she's good, but she had so many shots. You know, rabies, parva, <laughs> distemper. <laughs> So he he said, "Oh, I'm so sorry, the poor little baby." And, and then she even got her heart warm. Her, and she even got heart warm. He told his friends at work, "Oh, my poor baby had, you know, a distemper shot, a rabies, carvo." And one of his friends said, "Dude, those are shots for dogs." He called her. He was mad. He was very happy. He didn't. I mean, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. But I thought that was really really funny. Anything else funny that's been going on? No. Isn't that enough? Yeah, I'm just oh, waiting tell, for him to call back about the trunk one. Tell him about the um the diabetes. <laughs> Jessica comes over this morning. She says to me, "Hey, mom, did you talk to Justice about diabetes?" And I said, "Diabetes." I did. I did. How do you know? He said something about a red red trash can. I was gonna say receptacle. Red trash can on the wall, and it's for diabetes. Diabetes. And I figured, okay, you put the red trash can and diabetes, because nothing else sounds like diabetes, like diabetes. So I said, well, you're saying it wrong. So I taught him how to say it correctly. You did not teach him how to say it correctly, but go ahead. He says it now, diabetes. Like who? <laughs> Wilfred Brimley. And it's all started because he saw the the um. No, this is diabetes. He saw the sharps container in the bathroom at the mall. He said to me, "Hey, Grandma, what's that red box?" And I told him, you know, it's um for people who have to take an injection. And I I figured he might get scared because you know shots that the doctor gives him. So I said, some people have diabetes and. Um, they might have juvenile onset or they might have adult onset and they have to give themselves a shot. And I explained what diabetes was and, and when they use the needle, they have to put it in a safe container so that nobody else will find it and use it or a child can get a shop's container. So, and then he, I mean, he was like, okay with it, he let it go, but he, dad says he can take any story and weave a tale of death and destruction. You, I mean, he saw a show on TV about sinkholes. Dad was watching it and, I mean, he started talking about the sinkholes and how your bedroom is going to get swallowed up into the ground and how um, he didn't sleep for like a week. He didn't sleep for a week. And I said, "This is baloney," because I think, like I told, Scott, I told Dad, please be careful with what he watches. Then he saw something about um, about tornadoes, and he, uh, you know, he, he just. Oh, then he saw something about Fort Knox. Dad was watching a show on Fort Knox, and he said, "You know, there's a mystery with Fort Knox. They're keeping chemicals there, not just the gold. Like, like he knows, mm -hmm. like he he, but he spin. He puts his own little spin on it, so you don't know." This is why kids don't testify in court. Right. Because they're not accurate. This they're in the right church, wrong. the wrong pew. So we thought that was funny. Anyway, if you've got any funny stories, I mean I would love to hear them. I mean, we're always up for a good laugh. I mean, hilarious. I mean, I don't necessarily want my husband to hate me, but I can't wait can't wait for him to call me back with a follow up for the trunk monkeys. Shame on you. I should I wanted the chaperone bribe. Then you said you wanted the bribe. Where he brought where she brought bribes the she says, the, the, the woman, the, the woman's bleeding, and the, 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 the officer comes up to the woman and she goes, how about you don't give us a ticket today? And the little trunk monkey comes around to the side with the box of donuts and then a wad of cash. Seriously, he's going to have... The trunk monkey ended up going to jail. The trunk monkey got cuffed and went to the pen. Oh, well. So anyway, I think that's it for today. It's going to be 99 degrees here today. I... Oh, oh, my Fitbit. This is a, my... my I got for my birthday, so I've been making it a goal to walk 10,000 steps a day, and because um, I told Hubby, I do, I walk a ton, which I do, and I said, and I don't sleep, and it, this validated that I do not sleep, I'm having about an hour or two of, um, no, it was three hours last night, three hours of restless sleep, waking up all night long, I slept five hours last night, and three hours, that was, was horrible sleep. I did walk 10,000 steps yesterday, and it was 95 degrees yesterday, and when I got home, I was blistering hot. She was muggy. I was ripe. But anyway, I just, and I said today, I swear I'm not walking out at 100 degree heat because it's going to be 100 degrees today, Jess. Mm -hmm. So I don't care. The kids are not going in the pool outside because it's just way too hot for a man or beast. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me, if you have animals, do not leave animals or children because I unfortunately you have to tell people nowadays, yeah. don't leave your kid in a hot car. You know, back in the day, you just had to say, don't leave your um, animals in a car. But seriously, children, pets, the elderly, they, they are more susceptible to the hot weather. Don't leave your animals in a car, even if the window is open. That car can reach blistering hot in seconds. And, you know, 
even like today, you know, the kids would love to be in the pool. I can't because it's just too hot. The sun's rays are too much. And maybe when the sun goes down, yes, but I'm not going to walk in this heat. This is, no. Well, Justice is in BBS. He's liking that. He's got that yeah. all day this week. He loves BBS. He came home yesterday. Sure. He goes, it's just a little hot, Grandma. And I said, well, I'm sorry, but the church is um, air conditioned. And I'm sorry if you went outside and it was hot. That's okay because it was before noon. But mm -hmm. in the heat of the day, you just can't. It's too much. So that's our story. Got anything else to add? Nope. That's about, about it. Mm -hmm. Dinner's made. You know, I'm a vegetarian. Hubby is not so. I made hubby um, a pork crust for tonight. And seriously, I just might eat salad tonight because I can't. I can't take it. I cannot take. Oh, what about the drink you found, Jessica? Mmm. But you said you wanted to keep your channel clean. Is that dirty? I don't know. Is it? I mean, the kinky cocktail. Why is that dirty? I mean, you found it at Walmart. Last I don't know. Time. It just. It's a. Uh, um, it's wonderful. I found it at Walmart. Um, I found it in a six pack. It's pink. You got a six pack? I got a six pack. It's pink, and it's like um, like a Seagram's or like a wine cooler. Yeah, it's a wine cooler. It's exactly what it is. Was it's it pink? Was it super sweet? Um, yeah, it tasted like juice and went down like juice, but man, you, it ate you quick. Cause you texted me after you had had a bottle of it, and you, your your text was so off. And I said, oh, was it in a bit of bottle? You said, yeah, that. And I said, go to bed, go to bed. So that's our story. Uh, I think that's it for today. It was really good. It was mango and blood orange, so it was really good. How many did you have? Just the one. Did you have the whole one? I fell asleep before I even finished it. Did you make it to bed? Um, I made it to bed, I, but I made the mistake of drinking it and not eating, so um, I put Tums next to my... Did um, you put your pajamas on or did you go to sleep in your clothes? Tell me the truth. Um, no, I I took a bath and started drinking in the oh. bathtub and... <gasps> and I... <sighs> that's bad, Jessica. Well, I know. They'll find you belly up like... You know. Don't. Please don't. So, yeah. Good God. I'm glad I didn't know that. Anyway, this is Leslie and Boobage Jess. Do my milkshake. My milkshake brings the boy to the yard and they like it. And they like it. Meanwhile, she does that. And whenever she does that, Maddie goes nuts. It goes crazy. Oh, can we tell them about the story about the... Yeah. Yeah. So, um, real quick, I fed Maddie breakfast, you came over here, and she decided to eat another breakfast, plus a snack and some ice cream. So I was like, wow, my left boob is really engorged. So I... No, she said, I, I got to feed her. She's got to nurse. Feed her. She has to nurse. So she was on... And I go like this. And Maddie went... And Maddie went... Ugh! I said, well, maybe it's a fluke. Maybe <laughs> she had something in her throat. Yeah, yeah. So, so I did the other side. And she went... Ugh! I, I said, like, she's full wow, like Pavlov's dog. Because usually when Jessica does click, she goes, <gasps> and she's yeah. like all over it. This time I said, I, I, I think she's good. Yeah. The thought, the thought of nursing, it was like, like nauseating her. Mm -hmm. She's funny. That was the first time mm. it happened. And she got teeth. Yeah, she's getting two teeth. Anyway, look, I go on. Anyway, this is Leslie and Boobage Jess from Leslie Loves Veggies. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Not a thumbs down. I don't know who's doing that. And who's doing... Well, who's doing it on my channel, too? Dang. So, um, say a uh, mean girl. Say a uh, mean girl. That's just so mean. Eh. Uh, you gotta take the good with the bad, Jessica. Why get yourself upset? You can't change people. You can only change your reaction to people. Or you can hobble them at the knees. I'd rather hobble them at the knees because I try. Okay, and you need to subscribe. I'm pretty um, open and honest with you guys. You, know? you subscribe like right there, right here, right there, here. <gasps> uh huh. Get a little cleavage. You get, get a little, little bejazzling. A little bejazzling, bejazzling little boobage, and a little trunk monkey. Maddie needs a bejazzling. She does not need a bejazzling. I will strangle you. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.